Welcome to biology, the fabric of life. Biology is the study of life. If you go back 200 years, biology largely amounted to documenting the phenomena one observed in nature. If you had traveled to the Yellowstone ecosystem at the turn of the 19th century, you would have observed bison, elk, deer, bears, wildflowers, trees, and other organisms, and documented what you saw. You may even have seen and recorded bears or wolves feeding on those bison or elk, as well as various interactions within and between the many species observed in their environment. Those kinds of observations are still significant in modern biology, as it is important to monitor changes in nature. Modern biology, however, goes well beyond that. Modern biology is concerned with the processes that are responsible for the phenomena we observe. And it is these processes with which we will be most concerned in this course. To understand these processes, you will need a background in some very basic chemistry. This will help you understand the biochemical processes required for life, as well as the energy flow in ecosystems. Additionally, you will then be able to understand the relationship between DNA and an organism's physical and behavioral attributes, and how that genetic material is passed from generation to generation. You will learn about genetic technology and its many uses. We will examine the evolutionary process responsible for the extraordinary diversity of life before exploring that diversity and how the many organisms of nature interact in ecosystems. Finally, we will consider the ecological challenges imposed on nature by humanity. All of this couched within the umbrella of the scientific process responsible for the discovery of this vast body of knowledge. If all goes well, the knowledge gained in this class will make you a better educated citizen with an understanding of the process and value of science, the composition and biochemistry of your body, the role of important biological technologies in your life such as DNA fingerprinting and PCR, and an appreciati appreciation for how the natural world functions and the human impact on nature. So were you to go to the Yellowstone ecosystem at the end of this course in this, the 21st century, it is my hope that you would not just see bison, wolves, bears, grasses, flowers, trees as individual entities occupying the same space and time, but see the chemical reactions behind the organisms, the flow of energy through the eco ecosystem, the family tree that links them all together in a continu continuum of life and feel a responsibility to protect the natural world of which we are a product and upon which we are ultimately dependent.